What's up? Welcome to another Zelda randomizer from Good Old Days Gaming. Once upon a time, these were all the rage. We are going to test that longevity right now because we are insane. So let's do it. You know how it goes. It's Ocarina of Time. It's a great game. Randomizers are the greatest thing to come to retro gaming. If you've never seen one before, it's a lot of fun. But I feel like most people have seen them about 80,000 times at this point, and they do get repetitive. But this one should be fairly quick and easy because we only need three medallions to get to Ganondorf. So, as so long as we get light arrows and three medallions, it's straight to Ganon and we're done. Silver scale, that means Zora's river without bombs. So while I have your attention, What is it about these Zelda randomizers that makes people's fingers navigate to the thumbnail and click it? And why doesn't it work for the other videos? Hmm? That's what I want to know. I have a theory of a dead man. That's me. I'm the dead man. Come on, Mr. Boulder. Hey, Navi. You want to talk to me? Listen. That's nice. Rudo's letter? Man, they really want us to go to Zora's domain. Not that I'm really surprised, but... There's a rhythm to these things that you gotta do every time anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But yeah, these things exist as a platform, like a checkpoint. They're checkpoints of life, these randomizers. And it's a platform for a stream of consciousness. And I think that's what people are attracted to. Having seen one, they know what they're in for is a stream of consciousness for hours and hours. That is relatable and stupid. Because after all, I was recently told that I run a circus. So... Times have changed a lot since the COVID days, man. We got lucky. People didn't know about randomizers once upon a time. And then we came into the forefront. And, uh... COVID hit, and everybody was stuck inside with nothing to do but watch Zelda randomizers. Oh yeah, the ocarinas are the same because it, I recently played a seed where we had like every song and uh, still no ocarina, and that really frustrated me, so I left the ocarinas in their vanilla location. Um... Chicken wings. I'm gonna go out for wings, I think, tomorrow, Halloween. On Halloween, I'm gonna be drinking beer and eating chicken wings. And I'll be damned if somebody comes and says, can I have a candy bar? I'll say, no, you can have a chicken wing. And they'll be like, that's so much better. I'll be like, yeah, welcome to adulthood, you dope. Oh, speaking of dopes and... no. Oh. Alright. Swim along. Merrily. I got a new laptop. I can play games on it now. But it is lacking in the USB port department. Which makes recording kind of a pain because, uh... I gotta do different stuff with my microphone and stuff, and I, I don't like it. It makes me cranky. No, it's, it's weird. So yeah, half paying attention here. We're going to the shops and... Uh... The 
early ones I did, I was like all about the game, you know? I was all like, oh, everything's gonna be random. And it's, it's Zelda. And it's random. And it's so cool. Now I'm just like, yeah, we've been here, done that. <laughs> Which I understand defeats the longevity of it a little bit. But if you're here for the checkpoint of life, the denouement. No, that's that's a that's a different thing entirely. We exist to ponder. That's that's all we do. Let's get the skull mask in preparation for a future. One we may not want. Now, why couldn't that have been the first try? Talking about taking three tries on the stupid target practice game. Chicken wings. That's the thing, man. Just just name the seed chicken wings. And, uh... Every moment of silence, remember chicken wings. Because that's what we're gonna, we're gonna... We're gonna go get some wings, man. It's gonna be good. Cause it's my challenge. I've been I've been going to counseling and stuff, and uh, I have two goals. I have to investigate a gym, which you know I'll, I'll get around to it, I guess. But the other goal is far more interesting to me. It's going out alone by yourself to a restaurant or a bar and forcing yourself to socialize with somebody, a stranger. And that, to me, is a challenge and one that I almost did last Saturday. I was really tasting those wings, man. And some beer. Hey, Zelda's Lullaby. Thank you, Richard. Little ear scritches for you. Yeah, I was like, I... I got the electric pulse to stand up and walk out the door, but I didn't. So I never did go get those wings. But tomorrow, on Halloween, as the moon falls... Sing songs again. Sing songs. Sing songs. Sing songs. All right. That's the Kakariko theme. Anju, she didn't have a bloopy. She had her life savings. Look at that, perfectly timed. It's as if I know what I'm doing. Because I've done it so many times. Crud. You wanna wrangle some chickens? Chicken wings, dude. What's your favorite kind of chicken wing? Like, what kind of sauce do you get them in? Oh, what's the one I had recently that was really good? It wasn't teriyaki. It was like, uh... Like, that noise that he makes with that one chicken is crazy. I'll be darned, you found them all. You wanna marry my daughter? Get her out of my sight? That's fine.
Wouldn't it be weird if kids ruled the world and adults had to listen to the children? That would be chaos. I have a mustache that is, uh, I can feel it. Ryan Stiles from Whose Line Is It Anyway during the COVID years shaved his mustache off and let the other bits grow and everybody made fun of him for it because he looks Amish or whatever. It's like the same, same thing with people calling me Abe Lincoln and stuff. Um... Yeah, like, they think just because you don't have the mustache part, you must be Amish or something. But you can feel the mustache. That's what Ryan Stiles said. He, he said that you can feel that part of facial hair. And I've had facial hair for years now, and I, I've always shaved the mustache part. And I know what he's talking about. You only feel the mustache, and it's weird. I don't like it. But the ladies do. Shut up. Oh, crate on the legs, what may you be? Butter shoes! And well, isn't that so nice? So what were we talking about? We were talking about facial hair. Which is a riveting topic. I don't know, maybe you do just have to be silly and weird with people. Like, just approach a stranger and be like, So what do you think about facial hair? They'd be like, what? I'm like, I, you heard me, boy. And they'd be like, well, I think that the mustache is the only part that you feel. And I'd be like, that's right. <laughs> this is worthless. Let's go fishing and ponder this some further. Like now I get why they call them cookie dusters. Because if you eat a cookie, your mustache is going to scrape against it and dust it off. That was perfectly timed. I don't know, maybe I just have a sensitive nose region. Come on, Mr. Fish. All right. So, lemon pepper chicken wings, that's what it was. It was lemon pepper uh, wet rub. Not dry rub, but wet. And man, it was tasty. So I'm looking forward to chicken wings, even if they're crappy wings. I'm just looking forward to it. Actually, I might see if one of my friends is available to join me, but that would defeat the purpose of the goal of going by yourself. I guess we can leave this in, because the grotto is right here. Yeah, I get hit with these things where I'm like, yeah, I could do a Zelda randomizer. 
And then I get to like this point of it and I'm like, eh, well, there's so much walking. It's just for stuff we've already done before. Yeah, but I think that style should come back. Not necessarily the chin strap, but people shouldn't think that shaving the mustache part makes you Amish. Because if I get called Abe Lincoln again, man, everybody's going to get a hand spawned out of the computer, slapping in the cheeks. Some people think it's a compliment to call you Abe Lincoln because he was a good president, but that has nothing to do with the fact that, like, he was ugly and depressed. Sorry, Abe Lincoln. Dear Warden Jesus, please, please protect us from <laughs> the Gettysburg Address. I don't know. I don't know what's going on. Gerudo Valley music is good, though. Chips and salsa. All right. If it's not chicken wings, it's chips and salsa. And what kind of salsa? The watery kind. Not chunky. We don't want that chunky crap. Get that chunky crap out of here. You go to authentic mes Mexican restaurants, they give you, like, soup in a dish. And it's salsa and it's delicious. What if we don't have to go to the Deku tree? What then? How about that? <laughs> Remember Perfect Dark? Man, that game was good. I kind of want to play that right now. Sing songs again in the wrong key. Why are we pink? I'm just noticing this Pepto Bismol now. Anyway. Ooh, boomerang. Ooh, hammer. Not to mention a stick. Whoa. Gotta be kidding me, man. Giving me the good stuff. Let's let's wrap this up in like an hour. <laughs> Done and on to the next one. All right, getting the whole link. So yeah, Spider-Man 2 is wrapping up in November. I just wrapped it up now, though. Beat the game. It was re really good. I really enjoyed that game. I don't know how it goes as a Let's Play. People don't click on it, so I don't know. I think I lost a lot of my audience with how I've been quote-unquote behaving. 
lately. Big Goron sword or giant's knife? We're about to find out. That's right, you don't roll. Sword. What do you know? Do we care? Not really. No little kid punk here telling me how to rule my life. Yeah, basically that made sense. I can pull any grave I want to. I'm not racing Dompe though. That guy can just go have chicken wings. Have Zelda's lullaby. You know, I don't really talk much in real life. Like, this isn't real life, this is an extension of something. I don't know. When you're watching YouTube, you're not engrossed in real life. You are taking a vacation. A very crappy vacation. Magic. Hey yo, that's one step closer to the light arrows. Come on, wrap this up in an hour. I'm waiting for the day that I do one of these seeds and it takes like two seconds. I would be so happy. <laughs> you have no idea how happy I would be. If it just like ended as soon as it started. I'd be like, yes! Another one done! And we didn't even have to do anything. It's like waiting for Friday on a work day. Or waiting for payday, I guess. You guys like Snoopy? Like from Peanuts? I really like Snoopy, man. He's cool. Like, that's my online personality in Discord and stuff. I'm always the one with the Snoopy gifts. Because even though I look like Abe Lincoln, I like to imagine myself as QS Snoopy. I wish I could be something cute and cuddly like a teddy bear. You know how much easier life would be if you were cute and cuddly? Unless, of course, you hated getting hugged by people.
Gotta start somewhere. I guess up top is where we go. Yeah, but I guess uh, my behavior has not been the best lately. Because I had one of my moments, man. I had one of my moments where I was knocked down. And it caused me to make those vlog videos that I deleted. And people said my behavior was deplorable, attention-seeking, a circus. And all kinds of negative nonsense. My counselor says it's because they don't understand. I don't know. And I no longer care. Hey, Goron, Tuna, what a place to get that. We actually need that. We'd be fine without it, but... Did you know that kindness, like being nice to people, is actually like, it has health benefits to it for not only the other person, but you as well? Yeah, they were playing that on the TV at, at the counseling office. Talking about... I forget what exactly kindness does, but it, like, lowers stress levels and, like, does all kinds of, like, magic stuff like that. What was that? Oh, I got an Adobe pop-up. Nothing in the cows. This is what the Adobe thing keeps popping up. Hey, it's Major! Song of Time! Not as good as it is in Majora's Mask, but. It would be nice to have the prelude, prelude of light! just so that I don't have to walk. Somebody should make a randomizer where the first item you get is like an electric wheelchair. <laughs> He's just like, go flying. <laughs> Faster than the bunny hood. The R-wing might not make. This baby can take temperatures. Up to 9,000 of What a waste of all of our time. Some people are really productive when they watch YouTube videos. I'm not. I can't focus on multiple things. So, like, if I'm watching a video, that's all I'm doing. Oh, You're 
also link. It's hot, man. It's like late. It's Halloween, and it's eighty degrees Fahrenheit. I would hope not, Celsius. The roars wind means nothing, man. Unless we have to do the water temple. Nah, it's not worth it. Plus, we have 69 rupees. How dare we... Well, we're about to ruin it right now. first. Yeah, I don't know. It's it's kind of boring, isn't it? I don't think the longevity's there. Which is scary because that's all we've got, I guess. If only the other videos would do as well as the randomizers, we'd be we'd be sitting fine. We'd be happy. We'd be doing good. It would all make sense. But instead we're in this like weird dungeon. A London dungeon. Um there is one chest we can get. That's the noise that I make when I have to do another Zelda randomizer. Just... Ah! Butter shoes. Hey, Goron dude. Nice purple eyes. Wish I had purple eyes. That would be something. Yeah, if I don't get the chicken wings, I'm gonna get a beef pot roast. Yeah, we're done already. Okay. Remember Wave Race? They're gonna be coming out with a Wave Race on Switch 2. I don't know that, but I'm gonna say it, and it's gonna we're gonna make it true. I would be so happy, dude. I'd be I'd play nothing but Wave Race on this channel for the rest of time. No, maybe not. It's crazy that Matthew Perry died.
Yeah, it's really crazy, actually. It was drowning? Is that right? Like, how does that even happen? Whoa! Get out of here, big chunky. We could do this, right? Yeah, but I don't see why not. We don't have bombs, but we have bomb two. Hey, Navi, how are you? Yeah, there's lava down there. We're all aware. I heard that scrub. Oh, I forgot to check the scrubs in the crater. I forgot the hammer could do it. Adults wallet. We haven't found anything exciting since the hammer and the bow. Another thing my counselor was saying was that it's kind of life is like a comedian kind of, or, or my life is kind of like a comedian's, where like if a comedian's on stage all the time, they uh, they run out of material because they're not living life and it's getting new experiences. So like you need to have life happen to you before you can have stuff to talk about. Which is another reason why I can't just keep doing Zelda randomizers, because if they're supposed to be these stream of consciousness things, I don't always have stuff to talk about. I don't know, but I'm learning Adobe Premiere Pro because that's the, the factory one or whatever it is, the, the industry standard. And I haven't been using that. All right, here we go. First try. Told ya. What was I saying? Oh yeah, Adobe Premiere Pro. So maybe if I learn that... I don't like it, though. Get out of here. Go shimmy over that way. Yeah, there you go. Like, compared... I, I use Cyberlink Power Director, which, like, nobody uses, but it's good to me. Like, I've learned it, and I can do stuff really fast with it. Like, I can edit a file so fast. And adjust sound levels fast and I can even do the thumbnails and all kinds of stuff like with Premiere Pro I can't do like anything plus it takes forever to render compared to the other ones I use 
like to export the file, you know? That's always the thing, though, like... There's always a better way to do stuff than the popular way. So, like, there's there's a, always better things than Adobe. But yeah, I bring it up because, uh... In the event that this all goes sideways... I don't want it to be for nothing. I want video editing skills to be on my resume. And if you look at video editing jobs, everything asks for Adobe Premiere. Yep. We're gonna learn that program and hopefully be able to do more than just YouTube videos. It's like, I kind of wonder if that's the direction life is going, because like, it does feel like this stuff is falling sideways. I think we're stuck here. I think bomb shoes can open the eyes, but we need bombs to defeat King Dodongo anyway. Or a bracelet. So it's time to get out of here. We'll check the Skulltula house. Unfortunately, we're only gonna... We're close to 20, but we're not quite there yet, so... Doesn't that just chap your bone? It's okay, he's gonna have the light arrows, and we're gonna be one step closer to the end. This guy is a piece of heart. The bean man's gonna have something. Man, it's not looking good. All right, chicken. I'm tired, man. I might not be able to do this in one sitting. I could always have a beer. No, sometimes that's dangerous, because, uh, you never know if one beer is going to make you sleepy or give you that party feeling where, like, you want more beer. Well, that was weird. Two chickens at the same time.
Come on, something good. Crap. That's 20 though, now 20 when we're far away from it. Did they ever figure out the science behind yawning? Like, isn't it to get oxygen flow? Is that- oh, I thought that was the mirror shield for a second. Alright, chicken, you're real obnoxious. Oh, and I didn't even need it. Okay, let's get that shield. The big guy, which opens up Ice Cavern. Well, it opens up Jabu Jabu first of all. Let's see what do we got in here? Nothing very Guys, ever fallen asleep to this song? Moip. Uh, let's do the torches. We'll do the diving game later. All right, we're not talking about anything. That's a bad sign. Well, I, I am still curious about the yawning thing. Um... I want to start doing, since I have a new laptop, I want to start doing a Gauntlet Dark Legacy playthrough on GameCube, but using Dolphin Emulator to play online with people. But I gotta run some tests. I gotta get the people together, and then we gotta run some tests to see if it's even doable. Then that would be a cool let's play to get started. Talked about Spider-Man 2 wrapping up. We got Watch Dogs 2 wrapping up as well. That's another one that people don't click on. Oh. It just skips the fish opening its mouth. A lot of people want me to finish that Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask crossover randomizer, but I can, it's dead. 
and I got rid of the seed now. So, yeah, I ran into that softlock trouble, and I don't think it was beatable. So I just lost my patience on it. So it's more likely I'll just do a whole other one or something. But we need things to talk about, and man, is that hard sometimes. So since the Switch has been out since 2017, what would you guys say is your favorite console now? Honestly, I think the PS5 is my favorite right now. I've just had a lot of fun with PlayStation games. A lot of them on PlayStation 4, technically, but yeah, the PlayStation 5 is pretty sweet. Every now and then something comes out on the Switch that makes me play that primarily. Like uh, Mario RPG is gonna do that. Mario Wonder, not so much. I don't know why, I just, I never really felt the excitement for Mario Wonder. Eggie she said. Oh, this is that stupid room where there's actually a Deku scrub in here, so it might be something. It messes up the platform cycle. Hey! The rocks behind my head. Not totally useless, I guess. Ah, oh, we just missed the platform. Come on, with the Ark the Rock being a toad. I guess I should have taken him out first, because he was a pain. If it was Zelda Maker, like Mario Makers, they would have put like five of them there. I wonder if there is going to be a Mario Maker 3. It could do well if they make the right decisions with it. Like, change it up enough. But I think they'd probably have more success with the Zelda Maker at this point. Oh, we don't have a means of killing these things. The stick will work, but we only have so many of them and we need them for Baronade. You know what's another interesting thing? What's that, Bill? No, I don't know. Just says I'm always trying to think of stuff to say. Um, when you make a decision, like, how do you make a decision? Because I was hovering in front of my fridge the other day, and then something in my brain said to grab the iced tea. And I thought about that. I was like, what made me grab iced tea right now? Like, 
the moments that you come to a decision, what's going on in your brain? And how does that like translate to, like is there an iced tea neuron in your brain and they activate it? Because if that's the case, my brain is all beefaroni, iced tea, and like, beer. <laughs> Chicken wings. I remember Halloween this day. Anything goes. Yeah, what the heck, man. I'm gonna go out, get chicken wings, and talk to the bartender about facial hair. And I will report my findings. No, I don't know. I say that, but I don't know that I will. I want to. There's no reason not to. Maybe not the facial hair part, because that's weird. The washcloth! I could always ask my neighbor, like, you want to go get one dollar wings? He's a retired guy in his 60s. He might say yes. You never know until you don't know until you try. Well, that'll like defeat the purpose of going alone. But it, that's what I mean, like, it would, it would still be the same kind of social. Experiment, I guess. Oh, we're getting shocked. What's a game that you really enjoyed from the past that you wish would come back, but probably has no chance of coming back? So I keep on thinking Jet Force Gemini. I wonder what, uh... What's Platonic working on? Cause it's been a while since Ukulele in the Impossible Lair. And I, I really don't know why they don't make a Ukulele racing. Cause it could be as good as Diddy Kong racing. Maybe because there's already too many kart racers, like Nickelodeon kart racers and Garfield kart. Well, what do we have in here, by the way? Hey, that's kind of fitting. Uh -huh -huh. But why Princess Rudo? So did I tell you guys that I've been gaining weight? But like not in a good way, it's not muscle weight. It's all stomach chubs because of the beer and wings. That I haven't even eaten yet. I keep talking about beer and wings like I'm addicted to them and that's all I do and I haven't even had it once. <laughs>
But yeah, the metabolism's starting to slow down. I used to be able to eat anything, and it didn't matter what I did, I would just be anorexically skinny. But it's starting to catch up with me now. So I have to get to the gym. And maintain it. Like a normal person that, like, their whole life consists of just going to the gym and then working, making dinner, soccer practice, the gym. It's like, at some point it becomes like, what is life if that's all you do is go to the gym? Hey, Zora Tunic, that's another fitting spot for the... I don't know, I guess the gym is not what I would consider fun. And you have to have fun things in your life. So if all you're doing is going to the gym... I guess you're disciplined, I don't know. All right, we gotta be very careful here. We gotta use the boomerang and save our sticks. Bleh! Hey! Bleh! Oh, come on. What is that? I'm getting wrecked by this thing. Come on, man. <laughs> Good Lord. It's just Baronade. Ah, well. We'll get there eventually. Seriously, how many attacks am I gonna get hit by? I'm gonna die on Baronet. I got hit by that guy in a long time. How inconsiderate you left me behind. But we got the water medallion. That's one. We only need three. I haven't checked if there's one in our pocket. Hold on. Let's go over here and get the tree. Bilbo. The ring is still in your pocket.
I used to be able to do a good Gandalf voice. But other times I can't get my voice that deep. You know, the Ian McKellen syllables, where like a single syllable actually sounds like it has more. Like how a tree would talk. It makes sense. In some degree. Well, we're making progress. It's not like everything we just did was a waste. We got a medallion and we only need two more. We never did the diving game. I think I will take a break. Maybe let a day pass or so and, uh... I don't know, I just can't seem to power through these like I used to. It'll give me more to talk about if I go out for those wings, too. Actually, no, it won't, because I'll just talk about chicken wings and <laughs> it would be the same thing. But no, if I actually strike up a conversation with somebody, I could talk about that. I don't know why I said that so violently just now. Um, there's still a couple things though. Wow, what a waste. That's like throwing a penny in a wishing well, running a mile, and then getting a penny back. Yeah, there's this, which opens up a lot of the forest stuff, so we might as well check that now before we call it quits. Don't have Saria's song, so that one's out of the question. Wait a minute, Deku Theater, though. Plus these guys. two checks in here. Honestly, like, well, there's more Paper Mario HD I gotta finish. And then I'm gonna, after that, I'll do Mario RPG. But after that, I don't know. The Watch Dogs games will be done. Spider-Man 2's done. Oh, I mentioned Gauntlet. If I can get that working, that would be a good one to do. I don't see it doing well, but... 
Maybe we'll take some time off and just do Zelda randomizers or something like once a month. Never, never tried that strategy yet, cause it, it, I don't like it. But oh, the music's gone. But why is the rum gone? How many sticks do we have? Four. Yeah, we're cutting it close. Oh, oh, oh. So I don't know, what do you guys think about the whole longevity thing? Is it too much been there, done that, or is it still amusing because of the anecdotes? That's what I would like to know. What hope do we have for a future of YouTube? Well, yeah, this seed I will be finishing. Unless, of course, I run into some other kind of trouble with it. Like I have with those other ones. I could just feel myself running out of commentary right now. Eh, broad. So yeah, thank you for watching, and uh, we'll pick this up when I have some more to say, I guess. Not too long from now. So, thanks for watching, and take care.